one thing that we've spent a lot of time talking about on these motivation Mondays is the idea that life is hard. As much of a gift as I believe this life is, as much of a gift as I believe every day is, I'm trying to toughen you guys up a little bit. I'm trying to get you in the right mentality to understand that this life is never going to be perfect. There are going to be struggles. There are going to be hardships. Life is hard. And it's through those struggles, through those hardships that we grow, that we develop, that ultimately we learn about ourselves in order to become the people that we're ultimately destined to become. And so I'm trying to change your perspective on hardship and trying to get you guys to understand that even though life may be hard, even though obstacles may be put in front of you, don't let those obstacles prevent you from getting where you want to be in this life. Don't allow those obstacles to make you cynical. Don't allow those obstacles to allow you to give up on your dreams or give up on yourself or think less of yourself. Those obstacles are challenges, challenges that are meant to be figured out, overcome, and ultimately grow you to move on to whatever's next. And once you overcome one obstacle, then it's on to the next one and on to the next one. It never gets any easier. You know, sometimes life could be compared to like a video game a little bit, right? Each level gets a little bit harder, a little bit harder, a little bit harder as you make your way through the different levels of the game. The game of life is not that much different. As you continue to get older and move forward with your life, there's going to be new struggles, new difficulties, new hardships. But ultimately, as you make the decisions that are going to determine your life as you continue to move forward on your own life's journey, whatever decision you end up making, there's going to be a hardship. There's no easy way out, and, and very rarely is there a very clear, right answer. You are going to be making choice after choice after choice that will ultimately determine where you're going to go with your life. And regardless of which choice you make, there is always going to be a hard attached to it. There is always going to be a difficult circumstance attached to it. And I want to give you guys an example of what exactly I mean by that. What I mean by choose your hard. And I want you guys to take a look at this list I have on the board. These are just a few examples. And I'd be willing to bet you guys could probably come up with a few examples of your own. Choose your hard. Pushing through obstacles is very hard. Staying stagnant is very hard. Imagine if because you don't want the pressure of pushing forward, you don't want the hardship of overcoming obstacles, you don't want the hardships that come with chasing your dreams, the difficulties that may come with striving to become your best self, you decide, you know what, I'm just going to stay stagnant. I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. I'm never going to push out of my comfort zone. And 30, 40, 50 years from now, you look around at your life and you say, what have I accomplished? Nothing. Whew. That's a pretty hard pill to swallow if you ask me. Push through some obstacles. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. Make yourself a little vulnerable. Strive to be your best self. And yes, it's going to be hard to become your best self. Yes, it's going to be hard to accomplish your greatest dreams. But I'd rather push through those hardships to ultimately look back and say, hey, you know what? I gave this life everything I had versus someday looking back at my life and being like, you know what? Gee. I never really pushed myself. I never really accomplished what I set out to accomplish. I never really, you know, utilized the gifts and talents that were given to me. Obesity is hard. Being fit is hard. Choose your hard, okay? It, it, it's, it's not that difficult to under Either choice has a hardship attached to it, okay? Uh, 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 being in debt is hard. Being financially disciplined is hard. Choose your heart. It's going to be very difficult to be in debt because you spent frivolously. It's going to be very difficult to stay financially fit because you really stayed on top of your bills and your paychecks and made sure that you had everything budgeted and accounted for. Being honest at all times is very hard. Sometimes the easy way is to just tell a little fib, tell a little white lie. It won't hurt anybody. Nobody will ever know until you next thing you know, one lie turns into another lie or it gets easier and easier to tell lie after lie. And next thing you spun this massive web of lies, you're an anxious mess. You can't sleep at night because you don't know which lie you told to which person. Just be honest. Yeah, sometimes it's really hard to be honest, but I'll choose the hard of being honest over spinning a web of lies and all the anxiety that comes with that any day, any time. Starting your own business is hard. Having a boss is hard. Yeah, it's really hard to start your own business, but imagine being your own boss and how nice that would be. Every decision 
has a hard outcome attached to it. Think about the decisions you want to make and think about the hard circumstances you want to deal with in your life. Being a strong Christian is hard. Living a life of sin can be very hard and lead you down a very dangerous path. Becoming a responsible adult is hard. Remaining immature as you grow up can be very hard. As you look around and see all of your friends accomplishing great things, and you're still kind of stuck living in your parents' basement playing video games until 2 in the morning. That is no life that I would want to choose as I continue to grow up and move forward with my life. Life will never be easy. It will always be hard. But we can choose our hard, pick wisely. I'm hoping that this message makes sense to you guys, that no matter what decisions you make in this life, there's always going to be hard circumstances attached to those decisions. But one of the hard decisions you can make can lead you to a better place in your life. And one of the hard decisions you can make can lead you into a bad place in this life. And so think about as you're making the decisions that are going to determine your future, which hard do you want to deal with? Do you want to deal with the long-term hard of, hey, yeah, this is going to be a long, difficult struggle to get to where I want to be. But ultimately, when I get there, the triumph will be well worth all of the struggle. Or do you want to take the short-term cop-out of, let me just tell this little lie because it's easier to lie than to be honest. Let me just kind of, kind of, just kind of float along at this very easy job that doesn't push me that doesn't you know, force me to, to push out of my comfort zone, but I never really advance. Let me just stay in my little comfortable little bubble and never really leave the house and just kind of you know, stay protected from the world. Or do I want to get out there and take some chances? And yeah, maybe fail, maybe make some mistakes, but at least I'll learn and grow and ultimately become the person that I'm destined to become. And so I'll leave you with this. When we set goals, we sort of have this idea in our head that we should uh, set the goal whoop, and then achieve it. The reason most people don't accomplish the goals they set for their life is because they don't realize when they set the goal, the roller coaster of emotions that then ensues to ultimately get to the finish line. And it is a very difficult process of getting from setting the goal starting the goal, starting to doubt, can I actually do this, putting in the time to really learn what you need to learn to get where you need to be, making some mistakes, then practicing and practicing and getting better and getting stronger, and then kind of feeling lost and confused. I don't know why this doesn't make sense. When is this going to happen? Why aren't my prayers being answered? Before ultimately starting to really figure things out, maybe hitting a few last snags, and eventually getting to where you want to be. This, in my opinion, is what it looks like to set a goal and achieve it. It is a very difficult, long, arduous process, and the bigger the goal, the harder it is going to be. But I can't say this enough today. Choose your hard. What hard decision are you going to make in regards to your life when it comes to where you want to be and how you are going to get there? Because the greater the life you envision for yourself, the more difficult it is going to be to accomplish. And you are going to have to make some very difficult decisions along the way to get there. Choose your hard and don't be afraid of the hard work that it's going to take to get to where you want to be. As you go through this life, there are going to be some key moments and key decisions that really determine where you're going to go in this life. Choose your hard and don't be afraid to make the harder decision, to take the harder route, to get to where you ultimately want to be. Sometimes hard work, sometimes difficult obstacles, sometimes the struggles in life aren't as hard as they seem. While yes, they may be difficult to overcome, what they will do to you in the process is well worth all of the hardship that comes with them. And I hope that's something that always sticks with you guys. That as you struggle through this difficult thing that we call life, you will be willing to put in the hard work and make the hard decisions to ultimately get to where you want to be. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Um, I like